Welcome back to another Math Kuhusay Math 10 tutorial. In this lesson, we will apply the concept of geometric sequence in solving word problems. Let's start! We know that we can solve for any term of a geometric sequence using this explicit formula. a sub n equals a sub 1 times the common ratio raised to n minus 1. We can use this formula to solve real-life problems involving the growth of bacteria and viruses, the increase in population, and simple interest rate. For the sake that we want to raise awareness about how viruses and bacteria grow, we will focus on these infectious diseases so people will realize that COVID-19 should not be taken slightly. Let's start. Number one, suppose that Barangay A records its first two COVID cases on day one. If the number of persons infected with COVID-19 doubles each day, how many persons will be infected after 14 days? We know that on the first day, we have two COVID cases. So since each day, the number of person infected with COVID-19 doubles, so the common ratio is 2. And we want to find how many people will be infected after 14 days. So assuming that these people do not follow social distancing and other health protocols. So using the geometric sequence formula, A sub N equals the first term times the common ratio raised to n minus 1, we substitute these values. So we have a sub 14 equals 2 times 2 raised to 14 minus 1. Then we have 2 times 2 raised to 13. That's because 14 minus 1 is 13, right? So we get the value of 2 raised to 13, and that would be 8,192. So, we multiplied it with 2, so we have 16,384. It means that there will be 16,384 confirmed cases in just 14 days. That's why you should not take COVID-19 slightly. So let's take another example. Number two, a certain culture of bacteria initially contains 1,000 bacteria and doubles every hour. How many bacteria are there in the culture at the end of 10 hours? So in this case, we know that the original population, the initial population of bacteria is 1,000. So after an hour, the population will double, right? So we know that if that's the initial population, the first term should be 2,000 because after one hour, the population will be multiplied by 2, right? So that's why our common ratio is 2 also. So since we want to know the number of bacteria after 10 hours, so n is 10. So using the geometric sequence formula, a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, we have a sub 10 equals 2,000 times 2 raised to 10 minus 1. Now, we know that 10 minus 1 is 9, right? So we have 2,000 times 2 raised to 9. Now, 2 raised to 9 is 512. Multiplying 512 with 2,000, you'll have 1,024,000. So, there will be 1,024,000 bacteria at the end of 10 hours. That's how fast they grow. This time, try these exercises, solve it on your own, and don't forget to Type your answers on the comment section.
If you think Math Husay Math Tutorial helps you learn how to apply geometric sequence in real life, give this video a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, ang sikreto para maging Math Husay, matuto, at mag-ensayo. Watch the next episode on reality series and learn how to apply geometric series concepts in solving real-life problems. Bye!